Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a Microsoft Enterprise Agreement that you may not be familiar with. And the reason I want to talk about it is because, as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, Microsoft is changing their minimum seat count to get into an Enterprise Agreement from 250 to 500 seats starting July 1st of this year. So if you're in that uh, you know, 220 to 500 seat range, uh, this is a good time to take a look at a Microsoft Enterprise Agreement because you'll be able to lock in your pricing for three years and Microsoft will allow you to renew that agreement uh, for another three years, uh, if you're, even if you're still under that 500 minimum at the time. So an Enterprise Subscription Agreement is what it says it is. It's a subscription-based agreement. And customers of mine that have gone for an EAS uh, are typically more OPEX, uh, they care more about OPEX than CAPEX. And because it's a subscription agreement, it aligns with them very well. But uh, being in Colorado, uh, you know, there are a number of, of oil and gas companies here. And it reminded me that this is also a really good agreement for uh, companies who are in maybe more cyclical or volatile industries. Uh, with oil and gas being the way it has been for a, a little bit here now, I've seen a number of companies uh, have a pretty good amount of layoffs. Uh, they've really had to cut costs. And an EA subscription can definitely help in that type of scenario. And the reason is it differs from a traditional EA in that every year you get to, um, to reestablish your license counts. So if this year things are great and you, you've got 500 employees, you got to license them all, that's fine. And let's say next year, it's, it's a down year in your industry and you've got to cut 100 or 200 people. Well, with a traditional EA, you have to continue to make that payment all the way through the end of your, your three-year agreement. With an enterprise subscription agreement, you can say, hey, we no longer have these 100 employees, so we're going to reduce our license count and we're no longer going to have to pay for all of those license for them. So it can be a really great uh, program for industries that are, or businesses that are in those types of industries where you see fluctuations in headcount, or if you're in an industry where there's a lot of acquisitions and divestitures, a number of my healthcare customers uh, have, have also gone that direction. Uh, now, there is a catch, unlike a traditional EA, when you're truing up some of what is considered an additional product, it's not the main core products uh, that make up what Microsoft calls an enterprise product, Instead of truing those up annually, you actually true those up in the month that you deploy them. So that's kind of one caveat, and a lot of uh, a lot of companies who have an EAS have missed that. But you do have to true up essentially those licenses as you as you deploy them. Uh, from an enterprise product standpoint, your your Windows uh, desktop OS, your Core Cal or Enterprise Cal suites, um, your Office Pro Plus. Those you don't actually have to true up. You just establish your counts each year. Uh, if you have an online subscription, so an Office 365 or Enterprise Cloud Suite, Enterprise Mobility Suite, those are all enterprise products, but those are online services. So you'd still go through the reservation process for those. You're going to pay for actual usage. Uh, but if you have any of the on-premise enterprise products then, and you see some growth through that year, you don't actually have to true them up. You just reestablish your counts for the next year. So if you're in one of those cyclical industries, if you're seeing uh, up and down headcounts, or if your your company just prefers an OPEX uh, purchase over a CAPEX purchase, then take a look at an enterprise subscription, especially now it's Microsoft's Q4. And like I said, the seat count is changing from 250 to 500 for a minimum. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or if you've dealt with an enterprise subscription agreement, please uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much.